and hello again and here we are in Jeff's shed for yet another vlog and you're looking at here an ancient old motor that Jeff went to a lot of trouble to get from Birmingham you paid £10 for it and saved it from the uh, scrapyard and it's now going to be put into use uh, on a compressor an old compressor there and the reason he's rescued it is because it was made in our hometown here in good old Warrington from a company that was well, let's see Burtonwood engineering company long gone no doubt doesn't exist anymore and this is probably pre-war sort of 1930s or maybe even before then who knows um, yeah so he's rescued that as he often does he rescues old junk from the scrapyard and tries to make use of it and that's one piece that's going to be put into use soon and in fact if I spin the camera around you'll see another old compressor that is also been rescuing so let's look at that next and here it is another old compressor body at least and this one's a V-twin rather than a big single. As you can see, it's in bits. It's been taken apart. Jeff's now restoring it. And uh, so, Jeff, what's happening with this? Are you going to use this old thing here? This old V-twin compressor pump? I was going to, yeah. yeah. It's a nice old thing, isn't it? God knows how old it is. It's quite old. Uh, but the thing is, when I bought it off eBay, yeah. the uh, it seemed all right. And... But it wasn't. <laughs> it wasn't all right. Well, there's eBay for you, I guess. Um, so, is it salvageable? Are you going to use it? It's salvageable. The, yeah, uh, it just needs more work. No it doubt. It had some water in it, but it mm -hmm. turned over nice. Yeah. And obviously, you think, ah, oh, it's all right. And then I suddenly, oh, this seems a little bit of a. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The the rod ends are knackered. Right. Uh, the gudgeon pins. The the bronze rods and they've just completely worn away. Well, God knows how old it is. What is it, pre-war another one? I don't 19, know, it, it could when. be 50s, 50s 60s. Yeah. And for anybody who doesn't know what this is, it looks like an engine, like some sort of old Harley engine or something, but it's not, is it? It's a compressor. It's a compressor. So it works kind of in reverse to an engine in that, yes, it's got pistons that go up and down, but it's driven by an electric pump, electric motor almost, so. which then drives this thing, which in turn creates... Sucks air in or draws yeah. air in. Uh, and compresses air basically which is what an engine is it's an air compressor at the end of the day so yeah that's what this is and uh, perhaps it'll come back one day and actually work ah we'll see we'll okay see. and the other thing what's we'll talk about now and um yeah next thing is let's talk about crankshafts hey. honda crankshafts hey. okay so let me just move my present to you away now yes we'll have them later on with uh -huh. and here we see a big pile of cage rollers they're just bearing. CB 72 bits. Yeah, bits and bobs. And the reason they're out here is because you've been rebuilding an old CB, well, CB crank. It, it was actually a C crank. I pulled it apart and pressed it back together. 180. Which okay, let's go and see that here. now. Then it's over there. So let me just go yeah. and hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay, so there it is. So that's all now been rebuilt. It's an old CB 7772. Yeah, we've, we've just turned it around, pressed it apart. Yeah. Uh, because these do come apart, don't yeah. they? Unlike modern cranks. It seemed fine. Mm -hmm. uh, but you can never tell with things like this. Yeah, this old. Yeah. It's fine now. Yeah, but uh, it wasn't at the time. The, the, the only thing is, the, the, the parts now for these have been that old. Mm -hmm. if, if I can just grab that centre there. This, yes. Yeah, that is. I don't know if we can. If you hold it against there, we'll be in focus. Okay. If you can, that was this was the main, the mm -hmm. centre out of the. the so these the, are the mains of, here of of the of this. Yeah. And you can actually see oh, the corrosion there. The is corrosion it? there. Yeah. And it's there as well. It's not as much on that yeah. one. There's some wear as well. I can see. Yeah. A little bit of wear, but that's corrosion, isn't it? Rather than wear. I think it's corrosion. Yeah. And, but you can definitely feel that. Yeah. So that's uh, that's scrap. Scrap. Okay. Yeah. So you took that out. In, Felt okay. It felt lovely and smooth. Yeah, you well, couldn't tell. It wouldn't uh, in your hand, but in an engine spinning around at 10,000 RPM. It could, yeah. You would, you would soon but notice spinning it. Spinning it by hand with oil on it, you yeah. really couldn't tell. Okay, so you've taken that out and uh, you've that's replaced, replaced I've it. I've had to find another one yes. that the bearing surfaces are good. I've found the rollers, I've built it, but there's like a foul. It's got a, yeah, well, a minimal, tiny yeah. bit of play yeah. in one of the mains. Yeah. And here we see the. They're, they're just rods off some so some rods yeah. for something else we'll ignore that uh, and now I think some nice man's gonna come tomorrow and bite off you is he he's gonna well it's built to a point where we've we've, we've cleaned I mean we've had to inspect everything with like yeah. carefully yeah and it's all been dial gauged all, in 
everything's been, it's been dialed up now. They're ready for their, them to go on. Yeah. Uh, the only thing is, is on the end of the taper, there's some slight pitting. No, a bit of pitting again, yeah. It, well, it, the pit. I think it's with matter. a little bit of get a rotor and a tiny bit of valve. It's going nowhere. Just is lap it? it. Yeah, it's going and nowhere. And even a tiny little bit of Loctite on it. Well, I guess. Up. It's going nowhere. No one's making these new, so you, well, you, know, you sort of do the best you can with what you've can't, got. It, it's, it's, it's virtually impossible to recondition them. Mm. Yeah, yeah. I must say, I do love playing with crankshafts. Um, <laughs> it feels so nice, yeah. so smooth. Okay, so. so that's what you've been doing recently. So and also, you've been doing something else. You've dragged something from the, God knows where it was, in the loft or somewhere. Let's just put that back yeah, yeah. over there. Okay. Just in the one piece yeah, 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 yeah. So let's go and see something thing. you've dragged up from the shed yeah. or from the loft or whatever, which I've not seen the for loft. about a year, the loft. Oh, it was in the shed. It was in the shed. It was in the so shed. So let's go look at that and see why it's been dragged out at this late stage. Okay, and here it is. This big old thing. Is, is that in focus? That yeah, yeah, it's in focus. Yeah. This yeah. big old thing is the seat unit from the spare bike. bike. What I call comp spare bike. bike. The, not the comp bike. Not the comp bike. bike. <laughs> and this started off life as the original seat unit on the bike, like 30 years old, 40 years old. It was cracked. It was bent. It was sagging. No use to us whatsoever. It was completely out of shape. But yeah. you use that as a basis. So underneath here is the basis of that. It's been filled. Change, cut, extended, widened, whatever. No, it, it, it's it's actually been narrowed. Narrowed, yes. What well, originally the width there, but what I did with it, I cut to because yeah, it, I remember you changed it, it, it made little. it. It was flat. It yeah. was parallel. Yeah. yeah. So it's still not quite there yet because you want to cut this bit out here, don't you? Just what? Sort of well, it's it's bigger there because yeah. what what we did was originally from that point there to about there it was flat. Yeah. yeah. And then I suddenly realised you plonker. Mm -hmm. The, the two angles there, if, if it had made the mould, mm -hmm. you couldn't get it off unless no. you make a two-piece mould. Yes, which you don't want to do. So I suddenly thought, oh, a lot of bloody work. If you, yeah. Unless you're making dozens yes. and, yeah. and that. So what I did was, I built it up, I think I screwed a piece of wood to mm -hmm. the back and then I've just filled it. Yeah. Uh, so basically when it's cut, we can curve it round mm -hmm. and then just maybe take that corner yes. off yeah. there Okay, now, the important thing about this is, this is not the seat unit, it's not it's, even the mould for a seat unit. It's not it's even the, the mould, it's the plug or pattern. Basically what you're going to see is that when yes. it's finished. Yeah, yeah. But to get there, yeah. this is just like the plug, so you're going to use this to make a mould around make it, a mould which in turn can then be used to yeah. make the final yeah. item. So this thing weighs a ton, it's got it's wood in it and all, it doesn't matter because it's just used as a mould, it's a one-off thing. Once you've made your mould, that can go in the bin and then you can Make as many teas as you like. But well, sat having a one. cup of tea. Yeah, well, yeah. Oh, God, go Originally, from that point there, yeah. it was flat. Yes. That's right. And it's I kept very I, look, I looked back at it, so yeah. I thought, I got, then again, I got found some timber. Yeah. And I screwed a piece in about there. Just, uh, and I, I found various bits of wood. Yes. Till it gave me that curve. Yes. And then I filled it and yeah. sanded it. Yeah. And it looks a lot better. Lot better. Yeah, it was very angular before, wasn't it? Very it, it, angular and very it simple. It looked like it had sunk in, oh, yeah, but yeah. now with that curve like that mm. and the way the seat bit comes off, it, yeah. to me now that oh, yeah, it looks looks a lot nicer. Looks okay. Right. Now you were saying that one reason why you've Some may dragged it out because you were going to do it in the, in the summer when it's warm, but that didn't happen. Yeah. But the reason why it's been dragged out from the <laughs> pit or from the shed or whatever is because you've got a neighbour. Who's, 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 who's a laminator? He's a laminator, or oh, used to be, I think. Is, is he he's, tied he's now? He's, oh, he's still doing he's, oh, he's still, still does it, yeah. Okay, so, and he's volunteered. He knew you were doing this. Well, I hope he's volunteered. Yeah, he's volunteered to make the mould. Has he not? Or yeah, he, he said he'd do it, yeah. Yeah, so that's why it's been dragged out. Needs a bit more work yet. What it is, yeah. it's been, a brush four coats of primer on it. Yeah, you can see it on the it, It's, and then I've just got an old aerosol. That wants flatting off now. If it's flat it off 150s, yeah. Yeah. it doesn't matter because once it's painted, as long as it's got a nice shiny finish, yeah, then matter. you can let it go off mm -hmm. the paint, yeah, and then you can put your gel coat, put your wax on it. Mm -hmm. You've got to get some special wax, yeah, yeah, yeah. and then you put. I always think I think to, it's better off mixing the gel coat and spraying it on, because if you wax it and then you try and brush it on, mm. you might actually get a few lines in there. Or something. It might. Yeah. So it's saggy. Here. Don't worry about that. It'll, it, it'll be oh, what's it? So I think what we'll do is we'll see what it's like to spray on the gel coat. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But the First, thing is, your neighbour's going to have to come along and use this as a guide, as a plug, yeah. to make the whole um, 
What's the word? The mould. The mould, thank you. And then from that we can make, or you can make, or he can make, the final seat unit. Mm -hmm. Now, if people only make one, but uh, if you want more than one, then you've got the mould there ready to well, make. Well, yeah, mold I mean, basically, once you've got your mould made, mm -hmm. that, really, yeah. all that work, yeah. that, that's it's just... Wasted. It, yeah. that, that's well, that's been junk. Yeah, but, yeah, okay. So, now, it's a shame, talking, really, about, but... talking about junk, you're sitting on something where your GPZ used to be, so don't move, and we'll spin round, and we'll have a look what you're sitting on, talking about junk. As long as it's not ticking. Oh, no, no, it's not, not ticking. This is the sort of thing years ago, just after World War II, yeah. that you wouldn't go near. Yeah, yeah. If, especially so, if it was stuck out of the ground. So, <laughs> I'm showing it because that's where the um, frame jig was, and that's where the GPZ was, which is now mm -hmm. in bits, because you're going to do some more work on it, and so you need more room. And what this is, is a bloody great big bomb. <laughs> well, not a bomb. It's a big old air It's a 1947, 1947 air oh, tank. Air tank. Which hopefully still who, is safe. Who made it? I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's been made it's British or yeah. made in it's England. Made well, so even it's a bit rusty inside. It's going to be okay. Oh, it's and that inside. old um, ancient compressor we saw over there. The one made in Burton Wood. Yeah, our, our local Burton Wood one is going to go on here. It's going to go there, and yeah. it will be driven by this big old motor here, which is a uh, from Fuddersfield. Flux Motors. When was that made? Let's have a look. The, the, that could be. So it, it might have it been the 50s or yeah. 60s when they were yeah, made. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, oftentimes you can find a number on it that's like a phone number from uh, it says you oh, one, two, probably, one. I've got a book actually that tells you, and I think they started making these in the early 50s. Right, okay. They, they, okay. This so type. that and this from 1947 and that ancient old compressor is going to be put on here, cleaned up, painted up. And then I could safely it. say that most of it there is at least, it's all <laughs> 70 years yeah, old. Yeah, at least. At least. And it still works, hopefully. Oh, it will. Yeah, that spins okay, it feels okay. So, yeah. Oh, straight, I'm going to whip, whip it apart yeah. and make sure all the bearings okay. are greased. And the question is, why are you doing that? Why are you doing this with all that work and time with something that's 70 years old? Why not just use something from Machine Mart and buy it and, you know, for like a few It's a good quiz. question, though. I suppose it's... Uh, you can't really give an answer to no, it. No, I think you like it's, you just like old things, don't you? I like old, like old things. I don't like old knackered equipment, no, but old nice but equipment. I like a lot of old-fashioned yeah. machinery. Yeah. Oh, I know about that. <laughs> In fact, I'm surprised you don't like Harley's. And it's anyway. not only that. The tank was twenty quid. Yeah, it's cheap. The pump was a tenner. I know we had to one pick it up. Yeah, yeah. And that good. motor was. Unfortunately, the guy charged me 35 quid to post it, which is well, good. That is brilliant. And how heavy is it? Uh, <laughs> just to pick it up. 170, 80 kilos, 140, 150 yeah, pounds. Yeah, yeah, it's quite heavy. It's so, um, a proper... So they made to last, and they have lasted, yeah, 70 you years, and now you're going to put it to use again. Anyway, so that's uh, what's going on at the moment, and let's see what else is going on. But first, we you for a cup of tea and a digestive biscuit. Mm -hmm. This will long be going when we're six feet under. Oh well, yeah. Well, you will be. 